here is another episode using vector shift to make a practical use case of ai throughout today's video we'll be utilizing vector shift which is a framework that allows you to create and fully automate workflows with the help of ai and what we'll be doing is we're going to be accomplishing a detailing process of automating certain tasks that we might be doing in our daily lives the objective is to basically automate any task with the help of vector shift Something similar to what we did with Fabric, which is another framework and another automation tool that allows you to automate almost any task with the help of AI. This is where I'm going to be utilizing VectorShift to help us. For the people who do not know, VectorShift is a no-code AI automation platform that helps you automate generative AI solutions. And this is to build AI apps, assistants, chatbots, and various other workflows. Now, I made multiple different videos on this, so if you're interested, definitely take a look at the video links in the description below. But with that thought, let's get straight into the video. So how can we get started? Well, what you want to do first is click on the get started button. This will take you to this page where you can sign up with your email address or continue with Google or GitHub. So once you have done that, you'll be then sent over to the pipeline page. This is your main dashboard where you're going to be working with all your automations or your workflows. If you go down to the marketplace, this is another section where you can basically deploy ready-made automations such as a chatbot on vector shift which is an example you have a document search ai agent you have vector shift chatbots on documentation a search for a database and you can see that there's various automations that have been created on various categories such as marketing productivity you have recruiting you also have customer service image voice and so many other if you go to the storage you can upload your own database for example, you can upload various file types. You can create your own knowledge base, which is something that I'm going to be showcasing for the automation process later. If you go down, there's automations that you can work with, your chatbots, you can track different metrics, and so much more. But what we're going to be doing now is just creating our pipeline from scratch. This is where you can just simply click on the create pipeline from scratch button. But you can see that there's also automations with third party integrations like Gmail, Google Drive, Google Docs, Slack, as well as Discord. And this is just a handful. There's so many others. But in this case, we're just going to be creating a pipeline from scratch. And like I said before, this is an automation where we're going to be basically having it so that it can automate almost any task. And it would be just like an assistant that would help us out in that case. So what I'm planning on doing with this automation is just basically showcasing a generic example where you can automate almost any task on this platform. And this is where I'm going to be basically giving it a video and why i'm doing that is because i'm going to be having it transcribe that video and i'm going to have it so that it can basically get a summary of the youtube video so it will be able to transcribe the transcript and this is where i can ask it questions so for example if i have a very large podcast like an hour or three hour podcast on a certain topic i'm going to be pasting that into my automation that i'm going to be creating and it's going to be able to transcribe the summary of that video it's also going to output the whole word context of that whole video and it's going to be its own chunks and it's going to basically have it so that if I need to refer to it, it's going to be able to provide the right context. And the reason why I'm creating this is because someone could utilize that YouTube video to ask questions about a certain topic. For example, if it's a lecture on something, you can ask questions on certain topics rather than taking notes or watching the whole thing. And basically, it'll just make your life easier to process the information that's in a video something like where it's a tutorial or a lecture now this is just one automation that i'm working with it's just like an example to showcase what you can do with it but this is something that i'm going to let you create on your own basis as in i'm going to give you a rough diagram as to how you can create this automation but i want you guys to utilize this platform so that you can create various other things or automate various other workflows for example you can automate your gmails or you can automate something like HubSpot. The, the, the goal is, is that this is a tool that will basically automate any task and you can utilize it so that you can have it to make your life a little bit easier and you can increase productivity and efficiency. So let's get started. What we're going to be doing is first placing an input node as well as an output node. This is basically essential for any workflow to be functional where info comes in and it goes out to the user. So this input node will be actually taking in the YouTube video as well as the YouTube video link. And this is where I'm also going to be going to the data loaders tab and placing a YouTube node. And the reason why I'm going to be doing this is because 
this is something that will be able to grab the transcript within the YouTube video. So what we can do is have this interconnected with each other and then we're going to move on where it's going to be then passing it to two different places. Firstly, it will go to process the summary of the video by processing the transcript that it's receiving and sending it over to the large language model node. So what you can do is head over to the large language model node, place in any sort of large language model node that you would want or any sort of large language model you want it to actually process utilizing natural language processing. So in this case, I gave it a system prompt where your job is to write a summary of a YouTube video. You first write a key takeaway, then you find two key themes and write a few sentences about each. Finally, you identify tags and keywords, place a hashtag in front of each, you structure it below. And this is basically where it's going to discuss the theme of the video and list out certain tags. And I'm basically giving some key takeaways as well as a couple examples for this. So this is a good rough description of what I have as to what would happen if I was to go to my channel and paste in a random link into this pipeline. So I currently have a link to GPT-4 Omni, which is the new OpenAI large language model. And what I'm going to do now is just paste in my latest video and I'm going to click on the share button, copy the link, and I'm going to go back to my pipeline and I'm going to paste this link in over here. And let's see if it's going to be able to process a summary of it. So within a couple of seconds, we should see key takeaways that I had told it to gather. I should also provide the description of what this video is, as well as a couple of tags and hashtags. And that was basically something I was able to do within a couple of seconds. Now, this is just one component where it's going to summarize the video. And the great thing is that this could be deployed as a chatbot. So this basically means that you can start chatting with your video. So whatever has been transcribed, you can chat with it and utilize the open AI model to ask questions as well as help you understand certain components of that video. So this is a really great tool where you can have it as an assistant and have it so that it can automate various tasks. So this is a chatbot functionality where you can give it a name. You can describe the, your AI chatbot. So I can give it a YouTube video chatbot and it's going to answer questions about YouTube or YouTube videos and then we can click save. Now the great thing is that you can then configure this pipeline so that it could be exported in different ways. You can style it a certain way. You can then have it as a shareable link where you can start chatting with your YouTube videos, which is really cool. And this is just a useful thing as to what you can automate for daily tasks or daily things that you would utilize. Now the second component of the workflow is where I'm going to be taking the YouTube video and generating a blog article. Now the creativity lies in your blog core. So you can basically summarize YouTube videos and transcribe it as voice, or you can have it so that it could be sent to a Gmail node so that it could be sent to other people as a mail, or you can create a notion page. The flexibility is in your core. And this basically allows you to do a lot of various things with integration. Now, what I'm going to be doing is starting off with an input node and they're going to then process it through a large language model node, which is where it's going to be given a system prompt where I told it that based on the writing and based on the writing style in this example below, create a style guide for the blog or publication that captures the essence of the example's tone. So think of it this way. This large language model node is going to capture the essence of the example tone. So whatever text is being provided, it's going to capture that writing style so that it can use it for the next large language model node, which will then utilize that writing style and generate a blog post based off the interest that we give it, which is just a basic text note or text node. And we're also going to be utilizing the URL, which is going to be used to provide context for this blog post. And from here, we're going to be able to get the output for our article or our blog post. So think of it this way. This large language model node is going to capture the essence of the example tone. So whatever text is being provided, it's going to capture that writing style so that it can use it for the next large language model node, which will then utilize that writing style and generate a blog post based off the interest that we give it, which is just a basic text note or text node. And we're also going to be utilizing the URL, which is going to be used to provide context for this blog post. And from here, we're going to be able to get the output for our article or our blog post. So let's check this out. I gave it a video and I basically took the documentation for vector shift and it's going to be able to create a blog post based off that writing style. And it should be able to generate a blog post with three paragraphs as to how I described it to generate. 
And we can see that there's key takeaways as well as taking context from the YouTube video and generating the three blog posts or the three paragraphs. And this is something that I was able to automate within a couple seconds. There's just a couple nodes that I'm placing, dragging and dropping with this simple UI to automate this task of creating blog posts as well as transcribing different sorts of YouTube videos so that it's easier for me to understand. And that's basically it for today's video on vector shift. This is another practical video that I've made on vector shift. It's something that I'm going to keep on doing because it's just totally amazing as to what you can do with this. So I'll leave all the links as to what I used in today's video in the description below. Make sure you follow me on Patreon because this is a great way for you to access subscriptions completely for free, as well as our Discord community that just talks about AI. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, which is a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.